Hi everyone. I'm Kuni from Japan and our project called IRE. And yeah, of course, you might be thinking why is Spanish name in Japanese project? I tell you why. Um, when I when I was traveling through the a lot of countries before, and I'm not from the business industry, I'm not from the tech industry, to be honest. I'm from the volunteer in the industry, like this. And the reason why I was in, I was in the business industry is that I always wanted to help people. I wanted, I always, you know, I was just a dreamer that who wants to achieve, you know, like a fair so society and, and everything. And and then I, I met, you know, the concept of the cryptocurrency and I met the concept of the, the blockchain and everything. And I was trying to figure out how to coexist the society, you know, well-being and the profit as a company. And then, and also, what's the resources that everyone has? And that's the, the information. And people talking about information as the next generation asset, yeah, of course, it's easy to say. But the reason why, for me, I think, you know, the reason why the no company is doing it, you know, they're giving back the sovereignty to, to their own data to the end users, is that that means you're going to sacrifice the profit as a company. Because look at Facebook, look at Google, which they make tons of money by using the, the data of the, the, you know, end users and, you know, those entities. And what we think is that we're going to provide the prof platform, which is called DataBank, very simple. And then if we do that, we can give back the sovereignty to the end users and also the profit that we make from using the, those data we, you know, we gather. So let's take a look at the bank. Yeah, it's very simple. You put money onto it and you get interest out of it. So that's your asset you trust, you know, bank and you put onto them. And with DataBank, it's quite similar. You put your data onto our platform and you get reward out of it first time. And then every time we use your data, we make profit. And those profit we can provide to the end users that, who trusted us. So yeah, that's the key, every time we use. So that means the information is gonna be the next asset that we can use and we can think as an asset. And of course, we're gonna build a database like, like this. And currently in Japan, we've been talking to startups, we've been talking to local governments, we've been talking to other industries, let's say the airports and those people. And people have the database, of course, but they don't have the method to utilize those data. And yeah, people are talking about the smart city concept. And right now we're pushing it because once we have the database and of course we're going to have the DID regarding to the data bank because it's going to be the interface with, between the real life and you know offline and online so those and you know tools that we have and we can provide it to the local government let's say and so they can have the data and and on on, the, on those data they can do the analysis and they can have more efficient marketing to outside of the, those local government. And that's what we do as a data bank. So we're trying to build a new data economy. And if you think about our data, back then, people are trying to you know, close everything and they want, they want to control everything by themselves. But now we have to share those data. And if we share those data, we can bring some more you know, efficient profit, you know, more money add to the company. And then with our platform, we can provide those profit to the end users because the asset that we, we take is from the end users and we need to give them back to them. And how, how we coexist the profit and well-being is the key. And that's the reason why we're going to use the crypto and blockchain. As we, as a token issuer, of course, we're going to issue token. And those token, if you have it, you can reach out to our data. So that means all those entities will come onto our platform and they need to hold on to our token in order to reach out. So that means more data comes in and more entities come in onto our platform 
that means more people have will hold on to our token and that means token price goes up and as a token issue of course we're going to have a tons of token by ourselves but with a strategic play we can provide it to the market so we can make a cash out of it so that means we don't have to make profit from the data bank business itself we can provide every single profit to the end users and that's the new business model that cryptocurrencies and blockchain enable us to do and as a platformer we don't have to exist as a company more than 20 years or 30 years so that's a very new concept of course you know there are a lot of investors now but I would say we don't have to exist more than 10 years as a company because that's when you get greedy and that's when you get trying to you know like compete with each other and when you're trying to you know sacrifice your precious end users and that's what I want to I don't want to do so that's uh, the concept we have of course we're a company of course we need to make money but that's that's the end of the era that you know the past decade that, that's been like that but not anymore and that's the, the cryptocurrency and that's the blockchain enable us to do and that's what we have to think about to be honest because philosophy and everything because you know of course we can do exactly the same thing you know we can steal data we can provide it to someone else of course we can but that's not the right thing to do now because the world is changing and we as a company need to change their mentality we need to be fair you know we need to provide those you know fair fee to end users and of course DID how are we gonna make sure those data are true or not we need to make as I said connect with between online and offline so every time you put your data of course you can get money out of it but if you want to you know use your data in daily basis let's say go to the hospital go to the restaurant to make a reservation you know let's say you know like as a smart city that we talk about in those city you can use DID as a di identity and if you lie to us if you're being lying to us then you can't use your data I mean identity because there's no authenticity in it so that's why we need to have the DID it's not because the DID is the key or DID is the next generation's tool it's very simple but it just has to have the DID as a authentication of the data so we won't pressure end users to be honest but in the end they're gonna be honest because otherwise they can't use their data anymore and that's that's how we want to be and what we want to be as a bridge between the online and offline and by using technology such as blockchain and crypto but of course we are from this industry but we're expanding our business territory outside of blockchain and crypto as well and we are from Japan so may, maybe you might no, have no idea what's going on in Japan maybe the regulation sucks I know but if you think about it, Japan is it has huge potential because there's no one is doing it like what we do so if you're interested in us you know IRA or me or Japan whatever keywords you think please let me know and we can discuss you know freely more openly and we have huge potential and credit scoring is also one of the key but I think you you might know already but credit scoring right now those people have already you know the the reputation as a credible those people actually using those services of the credit scoring but those who actually need credit scoring they can have it because there's no data to back up their authenticity the reputation they have so we can't disclose how we're gonna make make the new credit scoring because it's a very secret but we can make it work thanks to the the examples of the Thai farm people and you know like those people who never reach out to the financial system before 
But they, they are the method. They, they do have the method to reach out to those people to come into the financial institution. So, and lastly, as I said, we open up the, the project, you know, called IRA, which is data bank, DIT, credit scoring, you know, the bridge between the online and offline. But also we would like to be the bridge between Japan and international overseas project, overseas exchanges, everyone. Because in this industry, of course, you know, we have to have the philosophy of very open, but also fair. And in Japan, we don't, sadly. And people are not interested in us because we are closing our gates to, to us overseas. So I would like to emphasize once again, if you're interested in us or in Japan, please let me know. We can talk about more freely. Thank you very much.